this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage now we remember stefano had said that he got police on the inside this is when rock came into the fish shop and he told her i'm sorry about unique now if we tie that together with the dirty cops what dirty cops the two dirty cops that went to pick up lou from the bar those are the same two dirty cops that was vandalizing rock's business they were white those could be the two dirty cops that stefano know well let's tie this together even further after those two cops found lou they brought lou to a stash house and who walks into the stash house detective howard so what does this have to do with defcon well who would have wanted defcon gone more than detective howard now detective howard understood that defcon was a street guy and he understood that defcon had power he understood that defcon could get him killed but also he understood that he was messing with defcon's girl remember detective howard didn't know that it was just a front detective howard didn't know back in the day when rock was 16 he didn't know that defcon was just paying her to keep up a front so people wouldn't know he was left-handed a switch hitter um he was playing pocket pool in somebody else's pocket D uh, detective howard had no way of knowing that back then but he would have gained the most from getting rid of defcon who else would have gained a lot from getting rid of defcon stefano now remember i just told y'all stefano got some cops on the inside those cops would be dirty then when you look at it those two dirty white cops they work with detective howard so it's not far-fetched to think that stefano and detective howard could have came together and conspired a plot a plan to get rid of who get rid of defcon now what would detective howard benefit from getting rid of defcon he would have rock all of himself he wouldn't have to sneak around as much so if you look at it rock would probably be in a situation where she would be with detective howard and she would say hey i gotta go defcon gonna start looking for me or she could have been in a situation where um detective howard was worried that defcon was gonna start looking for her or maybe she was out gone and they was together and her pager was starting to blow up and now she running out of excuses for why she's gone all the time and she telling detective howard listen we can't be doing this defcon is getting suspicious not only i um, am i cheating on him with you but also he's going to think that i'm an informant and kill me if he catches me with you he's going to know something is wrong why am i around the police now what would stefano have to gain from getting rid of defcon stefano is in the drug trade um stefano wants to sell drugs and expand he wants to be a big fish in a big pond remember his nickname is the big fish and his nickname not only the big fish because he owns an aquarium a fish shop his nickname is the big fish because he's one of the biggest bosses around so he wants to expand now what would stop him from expanding over queen defcon if defcon is in the way it's hard for him to expand now i have a theory and this theory is going to be sidetracked i'm not going to get into it a lot but one thing you have to understand when the man is not around the women and children will be taken advantage of so when you look at the social structure of way families are now how families are getting divorced at a high rate um how fathers are not in the house like they normally would be and we talking about all across the board we're not focusing on one demographic group or one uh race group we talking about all across the board divorces up family stability is down 
And the reason why is because when the father is not around, you can play around with the women, you can play around with the children, you can lie to the women without any consequences because it's no man around to go upside your head. So how would Stefano benefit? Without a man around, Stefano could make sure that Rock comes into power and now he can have control over Rock. Now, what he wouldn't expect is for Rock to be as tough as she is. And maybe she built into being tough. Maybe once Defcon died, she got with High Post and she was put more into the game by High Post. And then by being put into the game by High Post, she learned so much and she had to figure out how to be ruthless. She had to figure out how to be a queen pen, how to be a boss. So when we look at this situation, in my opinion, Detective Howard and Stefano would benefit the most from DEFCON going to jail. And then I'll even take this video a little bit further for y'all. We saw High Post. High Post was like the best thing that ever happened to Rock. He had a rolling smooth and everything was going good. One thing, side note, I hope we get to see in Origins some of the story of her and High Post. And I also hope we get to see a lot of the story with her and DEFCON, which I believe we will. High Post was in a position of power. High Post ended up getting rock after DEFCON. High Post ended up getting some of that drug territory. So when we look at this situation, um, the possibility is that the two people who stood the most for him to be put out the way was who? Detective Howard and who else? Stefano and why for the same reasons I stated about DEFCON now when we look at the situation when Ronnie went to jail it was a dirty cop and in my personal opinion someone sent that dirty cop to get rid of Ronnie and I would think it would be somebody like Stefano but when we look at the way that Ronnie was moving around it could have been anybody who sent that dirty cop to get rid of Ronnie Ronnie just needed to be off the streets that's why he ended up getting killed but back to the main thing at hand when we look at this situation i hate to believe it i hope it don't turn out to be true and i know this is only a tv show so i don't have to be that um thoughtful about it or whatever but um i hope that it's not stefano who tricked and maybe it was somebody in stefano camp but one thing we do understand is that um, the families on the power book three raising Canaan, they'll pass information around. They'll slime and snake each other out. We saw Stefano snake out big Sal and he used rock and Marvin to do it. And also y'all got to remember, we haven't seen the kickback from what Marv did to Sal. We know that's going to come up. And my thought, my process is that Marvin is going to be in one of those wedding pictures. And obviously those wedding pictures haven't been developed yet. And that's probably the only reason why it didn't come up yet. But long story short, I think Detective Howard and Stefano have been working together for a while. And I think they've been working together through those other two white cops. I think that that's been a bridge between them. Now, remember, the common theme in crime is that you should be places where you should be and shouldn't be places where you shouldn't be. And when you go places you shouldn't be, you should be able to blend in while you are there when you're doing crime. So um, Detective Howard going to see Stefano directly, he would stand out like a sore thumb. Stefano going to see Detective Howard directly, he would stand out like a sore thumb. But if they could both pass messages back and forth between two dirty white cops, nobody else would be none the wiser of what was going on. Now, speaking of wise, you need to go and join our power group on facebook it's called power book multiverse and cinema also if you have an instagram follow your boy so you can laugh and be informed about chicago it's at f-a-i-r-p-l-a-y underscore two three 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 salute to all the cinema cronies Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.